Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will back to the Lumion and I will show you the new tricks about the materials in Lumion. And also we will speak where you can get high poly models and how you can load it into the Lumion. After that I will show you where you can get the high resolution for example these rocks or mess around the rocks. These small tips will help you to get your render more realistic so let's get started. I have been opened uh, a new project in Lumion, so as you see it's blanked, I just only test uh, model here. So let's go and we will check the change the materials. For example, I wanna change this material to the something else. Uh, I will go to the uh, custom one and I will use the standard one. Let's use the standard one, now we have the blank one. And we will change the uh, color map. So here I already have the color map, so let's choose them. Uh, you can use the normal map from the Lumion actually. For, for that one you need to remove the normal map and after that create the normal map. So we already create them. We need just reduce the glossness and a bit reflectivity. So and let's a bit increase the relief. As you see it's really nice result. So what else we need to do? Uh, as you know, we can get the texture alpha, but we don't have any now. So what we can do? We will go to the Photoshop here, my texture already here. And if we will go to the channels, we don't have any alpha here. So we need to add the alpha. So let's create the alpha. It's already here. Let's go to the, for example, red one. I will copy them. Already copied. I will paste here. Let's uh, go to the Ctrl Alt, and I will change the, for example, uh, to this to this result, like this. Okay, let's say okay. So we have already our alpha channel. Let's go back to the our um, to the, our model. I will switch off the alpha. So let's go back. Now we need to save it. Let's go to the uh, file, save as. Uh, I wanna save on this the same folder, and we should save on TIFF because if we will save on this format, we can save alpha channel too. So let's save it. Uh, you can use the my settings uh, from here. Just few seconds. Uh, okay, let's let's continue. Uh, let's go back to the Lumen and we need to reload it now. So we have the now two different uh, texture. One without alpha and one with alpha. I will use that one. You should wait just a bit. And here we are. And as you see, how to understand if we have alpha. If I will use the color map alpha clips, we can see the oh, black one things now uh, transparent. So, but we will use the mask reflectivity. And let's just increase a bit saturation. It's really nice result we can get. Now I will use the stone and just a bit increase something like this one. And just a bit the edges, because I want them. I want it's not so sharp to be. And as you see, we get really nice result. It's really not bad. So, the first thing and first advice you should use the alpha for your complicated texture. So, this is first advice for you. And let's go to the second one. We finish about the materials, now you know like 99% about the materials, if you not, just check my previous video about the materials in Lumion, and now we will shift to the uh, model in Lumion. So, first thing what we are gonna do, we should go to the uh, 3D sky, this, this uh, site you can find here the free 3D models from the professional to the uh, some uh, from some new. <laughs> anyway, you can get it here from free, and you can load it into the Lumen, and you can get your uh, render more realistic. So we will do it now. 
I already get one model from the 3D sky, so this is so far, it is here, but I will load it uh, to the Lumion again with you guys. For example, you already finish, uh, uh, you choose the some uh, model, you already get the file and you have the some FBX file or if you don't have, just go and uh, export it to FBX. So what the else, uh, what else you should to do? After that, uh, you're going to the import the model, but I will go, for example, I not will go to the import model, I will re-import them. So, uh, you will get the, the window like this, and you will choose your FBX file, now I will use this one. And just OK, just few seconds, and your model here inside. So, I already have some textures on this model, but what the nice thing you can do, for example, I will compare fast, for example, we will do use uh, some uh, standard model from the Lumion. Let's say I will use this sofa from the Evermotion for the Lumion. Uh, you not able change the color here. For example, if I'm going to change some color here, it's changing everything. So I don't want that. But if you will go here, I can able change, for example, this this color. I mean this material, this material, this material and this makes your more flexibility and you can get your realistic i mean you can you can get get you can get more great result than if you will use the standard one so that's why it's not so bad so let's go and change some materials what i have here i have here the uh, some uh, carpet as you see, uh, I'm using the standard one carpet uh, from here, carpet office. Let's change, for example, for that one. This will be red one or that one. Of course, you can change the color here. Like, let's make it something like blue one. And don't forget here, change to the leather and a bit uh, extend weathering and a bit the sharpness, uh, reduce the sharpness. As you see, we're reducing now sharpness. Okay, nice. And a bit just reduced glossness, gloss, I mean, and we get nice result. So here is our uh, our model here from the Lumen. So that's finish about where you can get uh, the high poly model and how to get uh, your um, rendering more realistic. Now we will talk about the, some specific uh, models. I mean, Megascan. I think most of you already know what this means well, mega scan and what we can get from them. But who didn't know about that? I will show you fast. So let's go to the mega scan. Actually, mega scan. This is uh, as you understand, it's scanning uh, real objects. As you see, all these objects, it's scan. Let's go to the library, and I will show you, for example, free assets. Like, for example, this is grass, this is the castle wall and some rocks. It's really, it's really cool, the models. Let's go to the rocks and I will show you. This is like a volcanic wall, uh, um, volcanic rock and it really looks so real. How real it looks, I will show you now. I have some free models. For example, let's say we will use uh, which one it will be complicated for us. For example, that one. No, I will use that one. So I'm checking on this model after that script export to Unreal. Why Unreal? Because as I understand, it's not bad. Oh, it cannot export. Let's do this one. So as you see, the res resolution is 8K. It's really, it's really incredible. We already finished export. Okay, this is our folder where is now. Uh, now I'm going to the Lumen back. And now we need to load up the geometry. So I will go to the object. After that, just import, import the model. Now we will go to the our folder. And here I already have this model. As you see the asset raw granite, high resolution. Let's load up. it. As you see, we get our our model, actually not model, I mean our 3D is here, but without any texture. So let's uh, apply some texture. And now I will go to the materials, choose this rock, 
And after that standard materials, I will reduce the glossness and reflectivity just a bit. Uh, now I will choose the color map, I will go to the same folder and I will find here for example this one rock, granite and GI glossness but uh, yes, no wait, this is preview, uh, yeah I need this one, sorry, it's Albeda, I need Albeda and let's apply it, it will take some time because it's uh, really high resolution, it's 8K did you see the model from 8k so uh nice mm, what we get you know why it doesn't look like our model because we have the colorization so let's reduce it now tata it's really nice result as you see let's let's uh, do this uh, model a bit bigger let's say scale it now we can see all this result so but this is without any any, uh, I mean the normal map, Lo let's uh, remove this normal map because this is a normal map from the Lumion, I know wanna use normal map from Lumion, let's use the oven one, this one, and let's check the result now, here we are, so I will increase a bit uh, relief, after that I will go to the weathering, and here the stone I will choose and I will increase it too, like this. Guys, if you will say it's not looks so realistic, I don't know what is that realistic, really. See, it's really nice, nice model. So if you will go to the Megan scans, you here, here you will find here the trees, you will find some mushrooms if you want to use it. Even the some uh, wood logs or some tiles, what do you want, you can find here. Of course, if you able to pay for that, you can find here these materials, for example, to the road, to the asphalt. I don't know, whatever you want, here really so much materials. For example, any, only plants it's here 2000, it's more than enough. You can find here even the uh, some water plants or the grass. Okay, this is I think uh, enough for you about the uh, realistic. If I will find some new ways or something else, of course I will share with you. And all this model you can you able to download it below this video. Yes, it's small gift for you. You no need spend time for that. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.